right, let's go ahead and create a new sprite. And let's go ahead and uh, create a guillotine. So first thing I want to do, get like a wood color. It's pretty good. And I'm going to use the vertical mirror pen. But you can use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then maybe a place for them to put their head in. All right, and then I'll fill this in with my paintbrush, I mean my paint bucket. All right, so here's the frame of my guillotine. Now, what I want to do is create new frames. Eight sounds good. All right, and then I'm going to clone the art. So I've got the guillotine in every single one of my frames. And then I'm going to put in the blade. All right, for the blade, what I want to use is a new layer, right? Because the blade's going to be moving where the guillotine is going to be static. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. And then let's... Pick a silverish, silvery, cool color. And let's go ahead and create the blade. Use my paint bucket to fill it and then maybe throw in a little bit of color change just for fun. Oh. I was still on bucket, I need to be on pen tool. And then maybe one line one there. Cool. Okay, so now I have my blade. Next thing I want to put in a new layer and this is where I'm going to put the head and we'll just use um, like a dark brown for their hair. some like skin tone okay so now we have layer two which is the blade and we want to clone these all the way down and then we want to clone the head. So here's our frame and that's that's going to stay and then we have our blade and we want that to move. So here's the first place second frame. Let's move it down a little bit and use our move tool. Go one, two, 
And then the next one. One, two, three, four. And then the next one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now here's where it gets ugly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then keep going. And then this one will stay right there. All right, let's check out what we have so far. I can move this over. There we go. Okay, we see it coming down. It looks nice. And now we need to work on the head. Okay, there's where the head starts getting cut. So let's go ahead and move the head now. Down. And then down. And then you know what? Let's make another frame. clone it no let's not okay so we've got our blade coming down we've got our head getting cut off and now we probably let's go ahead and add a thought bubble so it's going to be a new layer make this white and then we'll add some black This was supposed to be an N. Looks kind of like an N. Make it larger. All right. No. No, it was better the way it was before. Okay. No! And then let's clone this. Alright, we see the blade coming down. And then that's a wrap on the no. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of it here. Get rid of it here. Okay, let's see what we have so far. It's looking good. And now we need some blood. So let's do it. 
Okay. There's the head. So let's now add some blood splatter. on the tool. And then we'll go to figure two. And we'll hit these up and just add a little bit more. Then we'll move to this one, add a little bit more. And then this one will make just like a hot mess. And let's check out what we have. Oh, very nice. And there is our animated guillotine. So, we have a bunch of different layers, right? Our first layer is the uh, guillotine frame, which is static, so that does not move. And then our second one is... Our blade our second one is our blade and that is on its own layer right because that's going to be moving downward and stopping then we have our head and that is going to be dropped down and we have our no and we can Save it or export it. Let's go ahead and do it as a spreadsheet. And then we'll open it up. And then here we can see our cool spreadsheet. And that's it.